everyone, thanks for tuning into Crypto ZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash the like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right into today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer, anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Alright, alright. Today guys, we are seeing a massive, massive bloodbath around the cryptocurrency space as a whole. Some currencies are obviously still in red, but majority of them are seeing massive, massive red ar across the board. Cosmos down 26%. Uma down 23 overall very very ugly day today uh, but um, this was to be expected guys uh, there are a uh, couple factors uh, that go into play why we're seeing this uh, kind of pullback I was saying in my previous videos that we could be seeing this kind of pullback in the bull run when we're in the bull run uh, we do see 20 to 30 percent dips that are very very normal so right now if we look at the Bitcoin, Bitcoin's down a 9.31%. That's a that's a big, big uh, percentage for Bitcoin to drop. And when it, Bitcoin drops that much, altcoins are going to do uh, take a double hit. And if you can see, majority of the altcoins are taking double hits compared to Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin dominance has been pulling up. But in my opinion, this is healthy, guys, because, you know, nothing goes up. But there's one major factor I believe is causing um, the cryptocurrency markets to bleed today. And uh, that one factor is uh, the stock market, guys. So uh, today, a um, stock market uh, bloodbath, Dow and a Nasdaq plummet in the worst day since June. So if we go look uh, at the bottom of the article, it says all three major indexes finished the day sharply lower. The Nasdaq closed down nearly 5% and the S&P fell 3.5% while the Dow finished 2.8 or 808 points lower. So if uh, lately, guys, um, you know, I believe uh, the stock market has the stock market has been soaring like there's no tomorrow uh, this whole year itself. Uh, you know, it's just going up and up. And I believe this is uh, very healthy in my opinion uh, because and this is a very like it was t about time uh, uh, this was happened. Uh, this was supposed to happen for uh, the stock market. But there's also the pandemic that is uh, scaring people. You know, uh, things are opening, schools are opening, people are scared. So I believe people are. Uh, you know scared that they might see what happened in March and uh, lately um, cryptocurrencies and um, you know what's it called cryptocurrencies and the equity markets the stock market they have been uh, you know really really correlated with each other so meaning that uh, you know if uh, Nasdaq or S&P or Dow if they were to fall you know cryptocurrencies do the exact same thing so if we go look at the Nasdaq right now uh, if we go on the one year uh, chart for Nasdaq we could see this major crash happen uh, in March uh, due to the pandemic which shall not be named on the 17th you could see we um, it was uh, trading at 7334 and just a couple of days before it was all the way up at 9000 almost 10,000 so if you go look at the Bitcoin chart as well you could see something very very similar happen in Bitcoin as well so uh, you could see that um, March 17th look so we went uh, that's when we crashed we went all the way. We went even lower than this. Uh, coin market cap is a little bit behind. So yeah, that goes to show that, uh, you know, uh, the equity markets and the cryptocurrency markets are very, very correlated right now. Uh, before in the pre, like before back in the day, it was not uh, correlated. But right now, it is correlated due to the pandemic, mostly because a lot of investors are scared. Uh, they because you know that money. It's money. Like they need money to live, and uh, you know they're scared that. Uh, Shops or shops might close again due to the pandemic. What happened in March? So I don't blame them. Uh, but you know what? What's um, really interesting for me is that this is a time to buy for me. Uh, this is a beautiful time to buy because look at these coins. Chainlink is down 20%. Chainlink is visiting back at its 11.80 uh, price, and uh, XRP is down 940. I'm not a big fan. A Litecoin, Cardano is down 15% like very very um, a big uh, like sell off today and i think it could even go further down right now um like i said coin market cap is a little behind uh i'm looking uh i was looking uh you know live just a couple minutes ago uh bitcoin did uh, go below uh, $10,000 and there is a cme gap around the $9,700 so i'm pretty sure bitcoin could fall down there to fill the gap before it uh you know makes it uh, makes the its next uh, recovery phase 
like I said, this is just uh, uh, pure uh, speculation and this is my own personal opinion, but I believe this is extremely healthy and I am going to be accumulating some of my coins uh, that I believe because I did get in on some of the DeFi hype coins like Sushi, YFI, all these coins that have been like going parabolic lately. I did get in some of them and I did take profits like I say in every single video. Like I say in every single video, do take profits guys because look at this, look at this day. Like people could speculate that we were seeing a dump, like you know we were speculating, but you know no one knows, uh, like for sure. But uh, that's why you gotta take profits to be sure, and never invest too much that you could lose. Because look at this day, you, some coins are down twenty six percent, and some are even down way more. Let me show you like something scary. There was like this co coin co uh, called Hot Dog Coin and stuff like that. that like they're down like big big numbers. So like always do your research before investing in these projects guys and never uh, FOMO in never ever FOMO into a project this is just I'm just telling you guys uh, what I would not do but uh, you guys do what works for you you guys um, at the end of the day you guys make your own decisions but I'm just looking out for you guys never ever uh, FOMO into a project and also uh, do your research never just jump in because it's really really risky and today is a day that uh, shows us that um, you know markets did pull down fairly well we're sitting at 333.3 billion dollar market cap and BTC dominance at 56.5 percent but like I said this is cryptocurrency this is very normal I've seen this so many times I've been in the market since early 2016 and uh, I've seen this in the markets and uh, this is just a, a part of cryptocurrencies and yeah if you believe in the project and uh, you have money that is uh, that you could lose uh, that you can lose that you have invested into cryptocurrency I, I would just hold and uh, yeah that's about it guys and uh, I believe um, this is a uh, for me like I said I'll say it again for me this is an amazing amazing opportunity to be accumulating uh, coins uh, that I like that are cheap right now because these prices are very very nice right now uh, and uh, because if we look, go back and look at um, let's, let's just look at Bitcoin for instance in March it crashed all the way down to like 5,000 even even lower I remember I remember that crash and uh, right now we're still at $10,000 so like recovery it has made a big recovery and same with most of the altcoins that did fall back in March they have all recovered crazy amounts so I'm just gonna be accumulating the coins that I like because you guys know I think long term and I always uh, do my research before investing and that's what you guys should be doing as well always always doing your research and always investing what you could afford to lose but yeah guys that's it for now let me know your thoughts down below what do you guys think about this market correction or what are you guys buying right now i would be really curious to know uh, let me know your thoughts down below uh, and uh, yeah guys stay safe out there stay safe out there like i said it's the most important thing safety is the most important thing health is the most important thing everything else comes later all this investing everything comes later health family and safety comes first and yeah guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah guys uh, please don't forget to like because it does help out my video go to uh, more audience uh, and reach uh, newer audience and that would really mean uh, the world to me if you guys can smash the like button and yeah guys I think that's it for now uh, and yeah it's been crypto ZX and peace out